Well, how can your subconscious help you end food cravings, increase your motivation towards goals, or even reduce pain? Joining me now to talk about his new book, Your Subconscious Brain Can Change Your Life, New York Times best-selling author, Dr. Mike Dow. <laughs> I'm so happy you're helping us uh, kick some of the habits that we want to kick, whether yes. that be, uh, you know, you and I were talking about emotional eating, mm -hmm. not with you, with me, <laughs> smoking if you're a smoker, yeah. anything that you want to change in your life, you say you can do this by tapping into your subconscious. Yeah, and a lot of people try conscious sort of tools, right, and if that hasn't worked for you, Hypnosis and tapping into the subconscious, I find that it helps people to be far more uh, successful in whatever their goal is. There was a yeah. woman who was addicted to sugar and she tried my technique and she emailed me and I gave her a suggestion, uh, by the way, that when she ate sugar, that she was gonna feel nauseous. Yes. The first time she ate sugar after that, she actually vomited. It was that powerful really? for her. So it really does fascinate me every single day just how powerful the subconscious brain is. Okay, so it's like, it's the power of suggestion, but getting it in there. Yeah. You gotta get it planted in your subconscious. Yeah, you have to activate that subconscious and get into that trance state. Okay, so um, there are several steps that you can take, and I, I want, to, I know that you're going to summarize them a bit. We'll put them on all on our website, cityline.tv, but how do you start? Yeah, so my book has a really easy to follow seven step process. Mm -hmm. The first step is really looking at cognitive behavioral therapy, looking at the pitfall thought patterns, like do I think in polarized black or whiteness? Am I a pessimistic thinker? Because a lot of those things set us up for emotional eating, they set us up for uh, addictions like smoking. Yeah. And then I activate the subconscious brain with a little bit of trance and you sort of go down an elevator and all those familiar things you may have seen in movies. Yeah. And then I help people to really restructure. So if it's somebody suffering from PTSD, I'm going to go into their past and we're going to paint over that because hypnosis can access the parts of the brain uh, mm -hmm. where trauma is stored. Or if it's something that uh, is in your future, like becoming a non-smoker or not craving all of those sweets when you're feeling hungry or angry or bored, yeah. I can really give you those suggestions. And a lot of people, once they have those suggestions while they're in trance, they say that it feels like the changes happen all by themselves. Really? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Where it's like, oh, I just started exercising every day and I, it feels like it's so easy now. That's really? what it feels like when you get that suggestion under hypnosis. Okay, so you've got the cognitive uh, exercises happening. You're revisiting the past. You are enhancing the present. Um, you are creating a different future. Yes. Um, and can you do this on your own or do you need the help of someone like yourself yeah, to do this? Yeah, so the book comes with audio hypnosis tracks, so you're going to ah. hear my voice, but eventually you're going to learn the format. So I also have the scripts printed in the book so that okay. people can actually learn self hypnosis. Okay. You want to walk, you want me to walk you through one? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Walk. Yeah. I'm going to get audience, hypnotized. <laughs> so, so this is for emotional eating. So yes. Tracy, I want you to just allow the body to relax. And you can notice right here and right now already that mm -hmm. your mind, your body already knows how to relax. Mm -hmm. And now center yourself by simply noticing two sounds that you hear. And now notice one color that's straight out in front of you on the back of the eyelids. And now Tracy, on the next inhale, I want you to roll the eyeballs up, up, up. Hold the breath, hold, hold, hold. And now exhale, now the eyelids. To stay closed, allow the eyeballs to float down, and imagine that you're going down an elevator with 12 floors, 12, 11, 10, deeply, deeply relaxed, 9, 8, 7, deeply, deeply calm, 6, 5, 4, 3, you're doing so wonderfully already and you've only just begun, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. And now using the paintbrush of your mind's eye, keeping the eyes closed, I want you to see something beautiful, a scene from your life, a time when you felt completely happy, stress-free, calm. And isn't it so nice to know that you can create that feeling for yourself? And now I'm gonna give you a suggestion. Plant it deep in the subconscious and I can see your eyeballs fluttering, which is an indication that you're in a trance state. I eat healthy foods only when I'm physically hungry. I eat only healthy foods and only when I'm physically hungry. I eat healthy foods only when I'm physically hungry. It's easy for me to not emotionally eat. It's so easy for me to not emotionally eat. It's so easy for me to not emotionally eat because food is fuel. Food is fuel. Food is fuel. And I see those eyeballs fluttering really deeply now, yeah? An indication that that trance has occurred. 
And I don't know when you're going to notice that these suggestions are going to pop up in your waking conscious life, but sometime in the not so distant future, you'll notice that your eating behaviors have changed. And now coming out of the trance, you're gonna see that elevator, see yourself getting in, and you're gonna become twice as alert and awake. Now going up, two, three, four, giving a little wiggle to your fingers and your toes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eyes beginning to open, 10, 11, eyes open, 12. Ooh. <laughs> How did that feel? <laughs> that was actually quite relaxing. Yeah, it's quite relaxing. Okay, hypnosis. so now I'm going to have to email you in a couple of days and see what happens. Yes, please. Because you know what happens, I think, with emotional eating? For me, everyone has a reason for doing it, and it's usually tied to emotions. For me, it's a reward. Mm. So it's like, you know, when, when, when the family's all together and we're celebrating and it feels like, oh, I work so hard and it's the end of the week and let's yeah. have some wine. So I'm going to check in with you Friday yes, around please. 6 o'clock. All right, I'll be <laughs> for that email. <laughs> yeah, but that was actually really good. So you, you walk people through that process in your book. Yes. And they can tap into your voice saying these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would suggest you try it, guys. It's like meditation, but deeper. Yeah. Doesn't it feel like that? It feels it very felt relaxing. Very, like it felt very restful. Yeah. Okay, anything else we need, to, we, ne we need to know or think about when it comes to trying to break those bad habits, Dr. Mike Dow? Yeah, just focus on what you're adding to your life, not what you're taking away. So for you, if it's boredom, or for you, a reward, right? Yeah. Uh, just see in your mind's eye other things that you could do to reward yourself that have nothing to do with food. Mm -hmm. And when you focus on that, what you're adding to your life, not what you're taking away, people, mm -hmm. uh, they're just more successful really overall. Really good. Yeah. Give it up for Dr. Mike Dow.